long chant in Pali, all of which is known by the first and second assistant by heart and from memory. A chant which has to cover questioning these, testing them. Each one individually is asked a number of questions dealing with his health, his sanity, uh, his life, his purity. You'll notice that they are all very concentrated, the mind very calm now, very intent on the task at hand. Any mistake is corrected immediately by the first or second assistant. These two um, are very responsible for the whole ceremony. If anything goes wrong on anyone's part, these two must know and correct it, either it be pronunciation or wording. They must know everybody's part. Both the novices, the uh, upachaya's duty, everybody's duty, these two must know and correct. It's a very responsible position on a day like this. Any mistake would mean the nullification of the ceremony, and would have to be commenced again. Now you see the questioning goes on, and the two assistants return now, and word perfect, they recite together the findings they have about these juniors. Word for word, statement by statement. Now the Samaneras move forward to outside the Sangha, they have been called, and before entering they have to ask to become bhikkhus. They commence by the words Sanghang bang te upasampadang ya chama olong patuno bhante sangho anukampang upadaya. Please, venerable sirs, may we enter? Will you accept us? They chant this three times, then salute right, left, and center before moving forward, and they will be again questioned by the first and second assistant, Damati Loka Mahatera and Kapilawadu. Here the Upachaya is giving them instruction on the bhikkhu life, telling them in Pali, a very ancient language, that from here on they beg their food, they wear only three robes, they must be satisfied with the foot of a tree for bed if necessary, and to live on the merest of medicines, to possess nothing for the rest of their time as bhikkhu. Now the first and second assistant are again questioning them. You see the lips moving here, the questioning is going on. And after this, there will become the acceptance. After the Avuchaya, now holding his fan of office, his title, is again instructing them in a long chant in Pali, which we call Anusana, expressing everything to them, get, trying to give them some idea of the task which they've undertaken. All the bhikkhus here present in this Sangha or group who are ordaining them are what we call Mupasana bhikkhus, meditation bhikkhus. That is, bhikkhus who have undertaken this bhikkhu life to strive all the time for the enlightenment which the Lord would again. Here you see the juniors moving off now, are bhikkhus, uh, and they will bring now presents, small gifts. Salute the Upachaya Chankul Bhavanako Sul Mahatera, who is now Chakul Mangalaraja Muni, his latest title. Now, something unprecedented here. The new junior bhikkhu has been instructed by the Upachaya to salute Kapilavato Bhikkhu, an English monk of only two years standing, to salute him, as were all the rest, as their teacher. A very happy moment this for the new Sangha, a very happy moment for Thailand. Everyone is very, very happy about this. Here you see the new junior bhikkhus now receiving gifts, and you'll notice that on the, on the ground they have golden cloth, uh, the purpose of which is to prevent them inadvertently touching any woman's hand. The Sangha here in Thailand, Mahasangha, the controlling group, are extremely strict, which is one of the reasons that the Dhamma is so strong in Thailand. The Bhikkhu's Winia, or code of discipline, is extremely strict. Here you see the juniors uh, concentrated as the chant is given forth, taking them into Sangha, all the Bhikkhus surround them, and this very impressive and sacred moment to the heart of a Buddhist is carried out with naturally some feeling of relief on the part of the new juniors. They've been under terrific strain. And now the traditional scene. Englishmen, bhikkhus, barefoot, begging their food in Thailand on the daily round. Here you see them moving forward in order of seniority, uh, begging their food as they go, each uh, with barefoot. Each one here has to be completely concentrated in mind, practicing what we know as satipadhana or mindfulness, a form of meditation. Uh, they do not notice who is giving the food. Uh, they keep their minds on the food. 
Uh, they keep their mind on the reason for begging the food is not for enjoyment or sensual pleasure, not to make the body strong or fat, but just so that this life, this bhikkhu life, may be led uh, to strive for enlightenment. Every movement, every feeling, uh, every act has to be registered by them. It is their discipline that their concentration must not break. Now they move across past the pagoda uh, on their way back to their actual vihara, and here again we find some more people uh, wishing to give them food. As they move nearer their place of residence, 